Hello, homeless, homeless advocate Eric Johnson Chef Talk coming at you again. Well, I just had a conversation with somebody about homeless empowerment and uh, how much power we think that the homeless and the poor do or don't have. And that conversation was based on the fact that there is a homeless guy named Jeremiah Standback who's running for mayor of Washington, D.C. The Democratic primary takes place on June 19th, 2018, and uh, he would take office as mayor in January if he were to win. Uh, so the incumbent's running for re-election. Her name is Muriel Bowser. And there are about 10 people who are going to run against her in the primary. None of them are well-known. Uh... It's been said that none of them are viable candidates. I was speaking with a friend a couple days ago who asked, you know, who are we to say who's viable and who's not? And she has a very good point. And we also talked about the fact that people vote based on name recognition. And since they don't recognize the names of the approximately 10 other Democratic candidates, they're likely to vote for the incumbent. And we need to change that. We need to change the number of things about D.C. politics. We need to stop saying how much power we don't have and realize how much power we actually do have. And uh, so I would posit here that Muriel Bowser won the Democratic primary in, in April of 2014 with 42,000 votes out of a possible 380,000 Democratic votes that year. That's 11%, one ninth. Um, and in D.C. We, have, we had that year 145,000 people on food stamps, which represented about 22% of the city's population. So more than three times as many people are on food stamps as what voted for Muriel Bowser. Now that, to me, comes off as power. If we could just get all the poor folk, all those who are poor enough to need food stamps, to go out and, and vote for Jeremiah Standback, then we could knock Mayor Muriel Bowser out of the box. She'd be so embarrassed if she got beaten out by a homeless guy, she'd probably leave town. Um, and I've got no complaints if she does that. But um, people need to realize this. They also need to realize that there's a very simple thing that we can all do to help this guy win. You see, as I spoke with this friend, we talked about the fact that people vote based on name recognition. And sometime later, I, I said, thought to myself, well, we have all these signs around town being put on light poles with nothing more than the name of the person running and the position they're running for. Uh, you know, signs that say James Butler for mayor. You know, no one knows anything about James Butler. They might go online and find out some things about him, but that's all these signs say. Now, we don't need signs that are made professionally. We can just grab some poster board and some marker and some staples, and, and you make two signs, and then you put them back to back around the light pole, and you staple them together. And, and uh, if people all over D.C. would make these sorts of signs and put them up in, in their respective neighborhoods on the light poles, then after a while, a lot of folk would know the name Jeremiah Standback, S-T-A-N-B-A-C-K, Standback minus the D. And, and we could make Muriel Bowser stand back. So I want people to start doing that. And let's, let's get this guy's name out there. And even if you don't think that he would make a great mayor, we know that the current mayor doesn't make a great mayor. And that the current mayor gave us gentrification on steroids. That she hasn't done enough to create affordable housing or to decrease homelessness. That she, she actually has suggested that the rules that require landlords to create affordable housing be weakened through a thing called the Comprehensive Plan. Uh, and so she's actually working against people in our camp who want affordable housing, affordable nutritious food, and so forth and so on. So 
let's get this homeless guy, not myself, but Jeremiah stand back, to actually knock her out of the box by just making his name recognizable. So grab whatever cardboard you have sitting around the house or poster board or, or maybe go out and buy some and take a marker and some staples or some tape and make signs that simply say Jeremiah Standback S-T-A-N-B-A-C-K for mayor and put them on a light pole near you and get his name recognized and get people voting for him and then after he wins the primary then we can talk about who we want to win the general election. You see, it'll change the dynamic. It'll change this idea of the winner of the primary just taking for granted that they're going to become mayor. It'll change this dynamic whereby Washingtonians uh, have a disinterest in government because of all the dirty politics and because they figured that the game is fixed and that sort of thing. So let, let's change local politics. Let's change these overarching dynamics that affect all administrations here in D.C. Let's show people how much power they have. And despite what Jeremiah Standback can or can't do, will or won't do, if he were to become mayor, just the fact that a homeless guy won the primary will send such a strong message that it will serve to further empower the poor of the city, not just those who are literal, literally homeless, but even those who are on the brink of becoming homeless, even those who are pay, paying more than half of their income in rent and struggling, all of the poor, all of the low income of DC, housed and homeless, would be empowered just by the fact that a homeless guy won the primary and knocked out the incumbent. So. Make those signs and let's get this thing going. Thank you.